Alright guys, 111, well 112 now, but I am in Lone Pine. Gotta stop and restock the ice. Um, check my maps. I think I'm gonna head out across Owens Dry Lake. And uh, there's supposed to be a little ghost town out there, or ruins or something we'll go check out. And then uh, later on I'll probably come back to Lone Pine and I'm looking for a place called Alabama Hills. And I'll probably camp there. And maybe in the morning I'll take off up to Mount Whitney. But we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. This is the trail right here. Swansea Cerro Gordo Road. Four wheel only, dangerous grades. This is one killer trip. It'll take you up to these Inyo Mountains here. Way up there, I think 9,000 feet. Took me five hours to get up there. And I didn't see anybody else. <laughs> and this is the start of it anyway. It's right off the, uh, I think that's the 136, takes you to Death Valley from Lone Pine. Gee, it's hot out here. And you can't miss it because there's this little shack right here to my right. There's some history behind that too. I'm going to turn around here because I'm not going up there. Hmm. So if you're ever out this way looking for this Swansea Cerro Gordo Road, this way would be Lone Pine. You come in, 136 from Lone Pine, and you're going to see this little overgrown bushes here. There's actually a house in there. There's a residence from what they say. And there's a little faded sign right there. See it? See it? Barely see it? Yeah. You go that way and then there's a bigger sign on that pole right there. Even that's all kind of faded. And stay on the trail all the way up. It took me five hours. Now my book says something about a historical landmark. Okay, where's where's it at? Where's it at? There's a landmark here somewhere. And uh, we got this thing here. It says private property, no trespassing. There's a landmark over there. Why is it way over here? I guess I'll have to trespass. Huh? Okay, this was the furnace here for processing the ore, whatever they were digging up around here. 1869, 1874, Evan Oh, processing silver. Hey, look, here's some old junk. like a car or something. Those wheels. Tractor maybe? Yeah. Wow. Look at the steering links on this thing. Gee, I've seen better steering on a go-kart. What kind of motor that is there? Little gearbox. And there's the rear. Huh. I wonder what these are for. Looks like they had some kind of straps going to the springs, going to the axle there. Hmm. Hmm. That'd have been maybe it was a tractor, maybe the front tire. What's left of it? Something on a trailer with two motors. Maybe. 
Is that an old diesel motor? See, like I said, the spark plug wires on. Points. Ah. Uh, look at the gauge. It's cool. See if the front door is open. Yeah, don't got the key. The floor still intact. There's any money under the floor. Mm. Where'd they hide the money? I wonder what's in that house over there. Probably a dead body. So I figured it's time for a beer. Might as well have a cold one here. Have a look around. Did a little walk over there. Saw a bunch of junk. But so I was looking back up here in the hills, and you can see the tramway from down here. If you look very carefully, I had to get out my big ass binoculars, and it's right up there. Let's see if I can zoom in with this uh, video camera. Steady the shot here. Use the Digital, digital, digitally zoom. Yeah, where are you at now? Right there. That's one of the towers right there for the tramway. Coming from Swansea. One, two, three, four. And they go over and keep going. And they come down to Owens Lake while well, they used to. I don't know how far they go now, but that's a big one right there. Those things run up over the mountain and back down the other side to Saline Valley. And the road goes through there somewhere. I think just below those it makes a right as it climbs up the mountain. So you'll have to look that up, Swansea. Swansea Saline Valley or say yeah I done it went up to the top spent the night down the other side or down to Sierra Gordo and then down the other side got lost missed the turn in the road missed the fork in the road finally made it down to Saline Valley and then ran out of ice and beer so I had to head back to town so for that I did like a scenic drive I went up Steel Pass, through Eureka Dunes, back into Lone Pine, got something to eat stocked up, and then headed back to Saline Valley. That took all day. I ended up back at Saline Valley in the dark. But it was a drive. It was interesting. I think I'm kind of pushing my luck though doing stuff like that solo. 
I did this solo up, over, down. Whew. Glad nothing happened. Alright guys, I pulled off the road here in Keeler, Keeler, California, or is it Keller? But uh, yeah, we're right along the river, uh, not the river, the lake, Owens Lake, what used to be Owens Lake, right here to the right. There's some water out there, but not in this part. But yeah, I just pulled off to look around. You know, I was out in Arizona. Coming back from Utah and I pulled over in this little town because it looked, it looked beautiful. I go, man, look at this cool little town out here. It's on the edge of the desert and the mountains right there in the Utah-Arizona state line. And it's Colorado City, Arizona. And that's where the fundamental Mormons live, the uh, Warren Jeffs little group. I didn't know that. I didn't know they didn't like strangers out there, outsiders. I'm cruising around the town, up and down. I don't see nothing but women and children. They all kind of stare at me as I go by. I'm like, holy cow, why are they looking at me? Why are they dress funny? They look like, uh... They look like, um... I thought they were Amish or something, you know? Mennonites. Well, let's get off and look around. Hopefully nobody comes and runs me off here. So if you're going to Cerro Gordo, Cerro Gordo... The ghost town of Sierra Gordo is up the mountains. You can see a little dirt road goes up there. Um, this is Keller or Keeler. And I'm just cruising around here, you know. Look at a swimming pool. Check out the swimming pool, eh? Damn, that's a good sized pool. Kind of cool. I wonder what this is for. This must be the pool house or pump room.